Hey guys, before we get into the video, let me introduce you to Real Men's Shave. Real Men's Shave is a community which has many cool benefits. You can share your shave of the day post here, you can ask for product recommendations, or if you're a video maker like me, you can share your content with a rapidly growing audience. If you want to have a look, I'll put a link in the description. Apart from that, let's get on with the shave. Hello and welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. I've got a new soap to show you all, and this is 24KT or 24 karat, however you want to pronounce it. And this is from Noble Otter. Um, Noble Otter has one of my favorite soap bases, so I'm really looking forward to using this. Um, the scent design is solely based around Versace's Eros, um, Eros, Eros, however the hell you pronounce it. Um, I have to say, I have, I've used this before, and I've also used the aftershave, and the, the aftershave, out of the bottle, doesn't particularly smell like Eros, but genuinely, once you put it on your skin, give it some time to settle, and it smells exactly the same. So, yeah, really looking forward to using both of those today. I'll talk you through kind of how I feel with the shave and stuff like that. My choice of razor today is the Supply Single Edge Razor, and this is obviously using the um, injector blade. And I'm gonna go with a badger brush today, but I'm gonna use the good old Samog Budget Badger. I think it's a 730 HD. I can't quite remember. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna shove this into my soaking bowl. Let me get open the medicine cabinet here. Shove this into my soaking bowl. And I will see you guys when this has been soaked, my face has been prepped, and we're ready for the first pass. See you in a sec. Hey guys, uh, face is prepped, as you can see. Um, the soap on my face now is the loose soap from the puck. So let's lather up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lather up dry. Um, what I tend to do with badger knots is they tend to hold a lot of water. I will wring that out pretty much, not all completely. So it's still a damp brush, but I'm gonna apply this fairly dry. So I can control the water going in. It's funny because I saw Cody from uh, Noble Otter announce that he was selling this stuff on Real Men's Shave and I wouldn't have noticed if I didn't frequent that, so for anyone that isn't using Real Men's Shave, I suggest you do. Mainly due to the fact that it's just a nice place to be. Helps you, you know, you need any advice. It's quite a thirsty soap. So just keep adding water. This brush doesn't have the best backbone by any means, but it can definitely whip up a lather. <laughs> so, you know, it's getting there as you can see. Oh, my arm's killing me. <laughs> I think your first lather is your most important one, so we're going to keep building it here. <laughs> How's that looking? It's getting there, it's getting there for sure. Um. 
still use some more water. So we're going to dip the tips again. Still use a bit more. So let's see what this leather can do. There we go. Just smooth it down now. What an excellent leather. As I said, I think this is definitely one of the best sub bases out there. It's very slick. The CDB line. <laughs> okay. That's our brush. Okay, so I put I had a little bit of uh, water in the sink. I'm going to drain that now. And every time we rinse, I'm just going to rinse under the tap. That's what I've been doing more recently, and I find it a little bit more efficient in terms of uh, kind of draining the razor. Very slick. As far as the scent goes as well, it's spot on uh, for Sachi Eros. I've only got a day of growth, so be too difficult to take it down. I generally load enough to shave an army, so <laughs> shouldn't have any issues really. Very slick, very smooth. This is an excellent razor. Um, It's an excellent soap. Uh, for any of you that had the priv have the privilege or managed to get this in time before it sold out, this is a limited edition release. You might be making more, you might not, I'm not too sure, but however it's it's fantastic. So slick. I don't think this is too different to the um, generic soap base anyway. So pick up any of the scents. It's they're all very very good. I tend to. Um, there have been occasions where I've overshaved them with this razor, mainly due to the fact that it, you just don't feel it on your skin. And uh, still need to remember you have a razor and a blade, so 
There's that. I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna wash my face, and I'll see you guys past two. See you in a sec. Hey guys, past two time. Let's uh, lather up. So I've got some new razors coming. Um, after reviewing the leaf, I was looking for another razor to review. And um, very popular razor out there at the moment is the uh, Carve by Christopher Bradley. I've picked that up and I've also picked up a slightly more expensive razor. By slightly, I mean a lot more expensive razor. Um, in the Blacklands Vector. Uh, the, the razor looks very interesting to me in terms of the way it's designed. It's very, very sleek. It also uses an artist club style blade. I've not had much experience with those. So it'll be fun to learn something new. Um, within the next few months as well, I think I'm gonna start uh, straight shaving. Which again, is uh, going to be fun, because again, it's learning something new. Yeah, I think that's good. So, wet the blade. Okay, let's uh, go across the grain now. Do you guys have any noble off the soaps? If so, uh, what ones do you have? As I stated earlier, it's probably one of my favorite soap bases. So kind of going back to what interests me about the Vector is the design. Something I've always noticed with these Artist Club style razors is they have fucking massive heads. And as you saw with my criticism of the Leaf Razor, I don't like a cumbersome head. And uh, it it's perfect in terms of the head size. I mean, to be honest, if you see the like top bit of this, it's probably about this big. <laughs> and that's, that's pretty crazy. So I'm very, very looking forward to receiving that and uh, giving that its, you know, fair chance. Still loads of residual slickness from the soap. So I can shave without visible lather there with no irritation whatsoever. And that's, you know, sign of a good soap for me. Again, if you guys haven't used any of the stuff, I highly, highly recommend it. Not particularly sure of the uh, camera quality for the video. I'm using different camera software. So tell me if you see any difference. And if you do, is the difference good or bad? <laughs> it kind of means I have to shave on a different angle, but it's fine. I think 
think that's the shave today. Uh, I think you're going to do two passes. Don't really need a clean up pass. Although, you could get, do a bit more on that cheek, I think. to get the remaining lather out of the brush. As I said, I lather enough for an army, so there's gonna be quite a lot left in here. There you go. <laughs> so, I'm gonna scoop that off here. Very nice. So, mix that up and get it on the face. Okay, um, I'll be back after I've mixed this on my face and washed it off. And I'll see you guys for the post shave. I'll see you in a sec. Hey guys. Uh, post shave time. I enjoy doing that face wash. It's uh, extremely refreshing. So, we've got our 24k T aftershave here. Uh, as I said, it smells exactly like uh, the cologne it was modeled after. Let's get a few drops of this. That'll do. Really like the stopper. Um, I wish all companies would use the stopper, but they don't. I always get a bit of burn from this razor. Um, not irritation per se, but just a bit of burn. Very nice. Wash the hands off here. <clears throat> it's very nice aftershave. Uh, no blotter line is pretty much high quality across the board. You're not going to get a soap from them as bad. Unless you're not a fan of the scent and that's fair enough. Um, okay, so our post shave balm today, I'm just going to be using the Ginger's Garden Unscented again. Again, I say this every time I use it, but this is up there pound for pound. Um, this is the Floyd Mayweather of uh, aftershave balms. It doesn't, you know, beat women or anything, but... Ha ha. Not a good joke. Excellent boxer, but a bit of an asshole. Very nice. Very, very good show. With the day's growth, don't need to take it too hard, you know, just uh, two passes with the supply did the trick. Um, that is the shave today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Apart from that, it's been your host, Jack, from the Virtual Groom Room. I hope you guys have a fucking excellent week, and I should see you guys around the weekend. Goodbye for now.